Carter Hart, uh, based on the report by TSN's Rick Westhead, is officially implicated in the Hockey Canada situation. Well, I, I wouldn't say officially because he hasn't been officially charged. He's not. But Rick Westhead is about as as legit of a journalist as you're going to get, especially in situations like this. Yes. So I find it highly unlikely that if Rick has Rick is reporting something, that it is not ultimately going to be proven out to be true. It appears what the timeline is, is that they're having this press conference. The London Police Department is having a press conference scheduled for next Monday. It appears that the pl all the players are required to essentially turn themselves in before then, and then the police department is going to talk about the specifics of the charges that have been uh, that have been laid against these guys. And look, it's not that this is a surprise, given the way last week played out, given the it certainly was not coincidental, but you you know. It would have been a hell of a coincidence if five guys take indefinite leaves of absence just when another report comes out saying five players are about to be charged in the 2018 uh, sexual assault. I guess there so. was always the possibility of some sort of cooperate, like some other role True. in the True. investigation uh, other than being one of the people charged, yeah. being charged. That's fair. But now that he's listed as one of the five that is no longer, uh, I guess, on the table. Yeah, and, and I think, I mean, again, this all makes sense based on yeah. what the way Danny Briere approached the press conference last Wednesday when I specifically asked if Carter Hart is charged in this case, would you guys look to cut ties with him? And they basically, or Briere basically said, the league is going to have an input in there. So, I mean, where we're at right now is, number one, I think it is highly unlikely that Carter Hart is ever going to play another hockey game for the Philadelphia Flyers. That would be surprised. Number two, I think it's highly likely Carter Hart never plays another NHL game, period. We obviously have to see how the legal proceeding plays out. You know, he has not been found guilty in a court of law, but for even these allegations to be brought out, it's it's not looking great for what he did in this situation. It it certainly doesn't look uh, anyone hoping for a positive out. Like I don't yeah, even well, know. Yeah, anybody, positive outcome and, isn't and, the and anybody looking for there to be like. Don't worry, Carter Hart did nothing wrong. Yeah. Even if Carter Hart is ultimately, you know, either the charges are dropped or he's found innocent by you know by a jury trial. There are very many situations. The stain there is, are very there are very many situations where. Someone cannot, it cannot be proven in a court of law whether someone was guilty, but that person very well did some terrible things. It just could not be proven in a court of law. My guess, and this is just a guess, is that when the charges are brought, the NHL is going to implement some sort of discipline that will take the decision out of the hands of the teams. That is my assumption, whether that's an indefinite suspension or whether that is straight up terminating all their contracts. Um, Chris Johnson and, uh, and Ian Mendez did a really good article for The Athletic this morning talking about what power uh, the league and the individual teams have in situations like this when a player is charged with a crime. Basically what the two of them reported, which I did not know, the commissioner actually does have the power if he or she, I guess it's Gary Bettman, so it's he, um, if he wants to, he can unilaterally terminate a contract. I, really? I do wonder if that is the route that Bettman will take for these four players. Obviously, Alex Fermentum is another one of the five. He is not under contract, so he's not really the NHL's problem anymore. The four guys, including Hart, are... I am curious to see if Bettman will just say, okay, all these contracts are getting torn up because they were just charged with sexual assault. Um, I guess... I don't... The Carter Hart part of this with his contract expiring, would that... Is it more of an issue for the future or right now with the termination? I guess because well, like, I mean, he's a restricted it, free it's, agent. It's an issue for both. Would he then? I, I think there's an element here where, given what these guys apparently are going to be charged with, which is some really, really awful, awful stuff, I think there's a good chance the NHL just may not want anyone under contract in their league yeah. with charges like this hanging That's, over their heads. So while 
like purely looking at this from a team perspective, it's not that big of a deal for the Flyers, whether he's under contract for the rest of the year and then they just let it expire versus it's terminated now. They would have a little bit more cap space for, for, the, for the trade deadline, which like, sure, but it's not going to kill them. What would drive this being done immediately, however, is just the idea of the NHL and the Flyers, for that matter, not wanting someone under contract, connect it with something this terrible. All right. Uh, it's It's not a ton of new information, but it is kind of the next step in this whole yeah, process. Th- th- this this was what was coming. We all city like the mayor. 